Alright guys, so in this video we're gonna go ahead and work on the next section of the website which is the projects section, okay? So let's start off by going to the reference tab just to see, okay, so we've got my projects and work that I've work that I've done for the past eight years, okay? So um, we kind of have that information already over here, this textile actually, so I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna bring that over here and make sure, now this is something that we want uh, to be followed by the grid, so let's go ahead and make sure that it follows the grid. Uh, obviously we want it to be 120 pixels as usual. Um, there we go. And I'm gonna say projects. Uh, let me just go ahead and copy the information itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and say my projects. Make sure that this is 16 pixels overline. And uh, we can copy this, which is work that I've done in the past. Uh, all right, and I'm gonna make this 55. Now we want this, so the way we want to do this is we wanna split this half and half. 50% of 50%, so I'm gonna go reduce this down to 50%. But the thing here is that the next card that's gonna be over here, as you can see, uh, over here is that it's very close to the edge. So I've gone ahead and given it an inner padding of 64 pixels. So I'm gonna do that as well. So make sure that we align it over here and then I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, right? So it's 64 pixels inside and uh, that's pretty good. All right, next, let's go ahead and grab an image. We're gonna press Control R. Sorry, we're gonna just press R and I'm gonna grab an image. I think I'm just actually going to grab the image that we already have. So I'm gonna copy this and we'll come over here and paste it. Um, now, uh, make sure that this is aligning properly to the left, All right? And as you can see, we've got like 80 pixels from the top. So I'm gonna move this um, 80 pixels Right, 64 might be too less, so I'm going ahead and making this uh, 80, okay? Um, and also you can see that I, there's a height of 620, I'm gonna make this 620. Now, oh sorry, 620. So this is the height that we're kind of going for. And the other thing is that you can, if you really want to play around with this, you can click on the image property over here. And here you can set it to different op, uh, you know, types such as fit, which means it fits it to the screen. You've got crop, which is gonna crop. And then we've got tile, which is gonna, you know, like tile it. So we're gonna, grade, you know, bring it back to default where I've said fill. So it takes up the entire space of the uh, size over here. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Now, next up we have this section, which is going to be uh, the information. Now this is in an auto layout grid. So we're gonna create this, uh, you know, in an auto layout. It's gonna be quite fun. So I'm gonna start off by selecting this, which is 24 pixels. And then we've got something which is around 18 pixels. Uh, I'm gonna copy these two and I'm gonna bring them over here outside. And I'm just gonna put this over here. And uh, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to be 24 heading. And this is going to be 18 pixels paragraph, all right? Pretty cool. So the way we want to do this is um, let's actually select these two and I'm going to press shift A. That's going to put them into an auto layout. And um, if you see the spacing I've got over here is 32 and 40. So I'm going to say the left padding to be 32 and the top padding to be 40. And I'm also going to go and change the color of this fill to be, uh, you know, level one. And that's pretty much what we have, right? We're going to go ahead and move this inside. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you go ahead and we decrease this or increase this, you can see that it kind of adapts quite well. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it as it is, right? And if you see, it kind of aligns perfectly with the grid, okay? Um, let's go ahead and duplicate, just increase this and let's duplicate this a couple of times. So start off by selecting these two and grouping them together. And I'm gonna move them over here, which is 24. And we kind of want to align this to the top and then select these two and duplicate these again. And the distance we kind of want it to be uh, 24. So select these two and uh, move these like, you know, 24 pixels like so. All right. And uh, the images, again, I'm just going to copy this, copy these images. So I'm going to say Control Alt C and Control Alt V and Control Alt C and Control Alt V. Now you might have to bring in the images by yourself and then Control Alt C and Control Alt V. Uh, the images are something that you have to bring on your own and put that inside. But since I already have it, I'm just gonna save the time of doing that so that it doesn't get boring for you guys, all right? So that's looking pretty good. Um, it looks fine. Now we do need a button over here, 
right? So it says view all projects. So, um, and as you can see, this is also in an auto layout. So the button has, uh, you know, a padding of 24 and 32. So I'm gonna start off by saying press T and I'm gonna say view all projects, okay? And this has a class of 18. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna say um, para, uh, heading 18. Now we do not actually have a heading 18. So I'm gonna create a new one. So this is gonna be 18 and bold, right? First of all, we're gonna start off by making this white color. Okay, and then I'm gonna um, add a new style and I'm gonna call this button underscore 18 PX. Okay, and then I'm gonna press shift A to make this into an auto layout. So I'm gonna start off by adding a stroke with that purple color stroke. And we want 32 on the left and right and 24 on the top and bottom, all right? That is pretty cool. Now, if you see the height of this is going to be 620. So we can actually grab this information, bring it down here and say, um, this is what, this is the projects section. Let's go ahead and call this projects and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, say image height is going to be 620 pixels right and uh, the height of this is obviously going to depend on the text so for example if I come over here and you know I just uh, you know like add more you can see that the box increases because we added an auto layout so that's uh, that's pretty cool so this is automatically going to be sized based on the content, right? Now this is something that we want to center. So I'm going to select these two and click on the center button. And also I'm going to press R on the keyboard and kind of make this, uh, try, to, try, to, try to kind of define a height and then select these two and then click on the uh, vertical aligns. So uh, and then delete this. So it's kind of in the center. And I think looks this looks pretty good. All we have to do now is just select all this, right click and choose frame selection. And then now we can go ahead and kind of move this over to the left and right and move this like so. So we've got 120 pixels on the top and we've also got 120 pixels on the bottom and we've got 72 pixels on the left and 72 pixels, I mean 72 pixels on the right and 72 pixels on the left, right? So that's pretty much it. Now quickly, we also have the next section, which is the Instagram. So this it's pretty much the same component. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna bring that out over here like so, and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this in Instagram. And uh, we've got some text over here. I'm gonna copy this text information and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that text information. Make sure that we add the paragraph 18 and I'm gonna say, uh, fo follow me on Instagram. Or we can just say follow me on IG. I think that's what we did. So I'm just gonna say follow me on IG. All right, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, and also the color is a bit different. Here we have a peach, but here we have some sort of a light violet color. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come over here and then paste that new color. And I'm gonna say uh, violet accent. It's a very light color. And also the image we're gonna Control Alt C or Control Option C or Command Option C to copy the image. And I'm gonna come over here and paste it. So we've get the image, you know, in that exact proportion. All right, so that's pretty much it. And um, we have finally created quite a bit. And in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and create the next section. So I'll see you guys in the next video.